Okay guys, welcome back to Tamilia Farms. We've got Tom in the hot house. He's putting in our celebrity tomatoes in our planting them in the ground. Tom, say hello. Hello, Tom. Don't be smart, <laughs> Tom. Look right. at that. So tell tell the uh, YouTube audience what you're doing, honey. Well, we're transferring our tomatoes from the cups. They were seeds. We got them, and they grew. And we it's time to transplant them. We probably should have transplanted them a week or two ago, but. The way things were going, we didn't have time, and we don't get over here every day like we should. So anyway, we um, got over here. We're going to transplant them in this area that we uh, created for in-ground in the hot house. And anyway, we did one uh, cantaloupe, and we already done some cucumbers from before. And here we putting in tomatoes, putting our celebrity tomatoes in, and we're putting in um, regular soil potting soil and then we got some black cow cow manure and we got some Starbucks coffee grounds <laughs> that have actually uh, uh, decomposed to I guess something like poop but it, it smells like it but it's really really rich really good what is that noise in the background honey is it raining that's guys it's rain. rain that's rain outside and that's yeah. the good part about having one so we can actually work while it's raining it's hard to get out there and work in the regular garden so and we got stuff out there that God's watering right now amen and, and here we are we can tend to these inside so anyway we're transplanting our tomatoes and put them where they belong and hopefully we'll get a lot of tomatoes these are beautiful plants they really are they've done really really well and tell them what Amazon did to our plants honey uh, we, they gave us a pack of 30 seeds and we got, I think, 12 out of the 30 actually <laughs> broke ground and came up. And now since then, even uh, two weaker ones died. So we got 10 plants out of the 30. So uh, she complained about it, and they gave the money back. I got to give them that. Give, you know, they did do that. And uh, anyway, uh, they they used the video we had. Or the pictures of the beautiful plants that did come up and uh anyway they gave us our money back yes which was uh we were happy to get really it back good. yeah and hopefully we'll get something out of these plants and anyway she's already put the uh the potting soil and the cow manure in these holes and then i add the uh, coffee ground compost and, and tell us about the solo cups. We're using the white solo cups. Yeah, we use these um, styrofoam. Red styrofoam cups, and they've come out. For, they come pretty good. They really have. They've done. Let's see good. the root system on that baby. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that Beautiful wonderful? That little system. highway is just doing it. So and before you put them in the ground, you stretch your roots out a little bit. You know, just help them to pull out. So when they're in the ground, they just go all kind of different ways. And, they don't stay in one one blob. And so tell them what we put inside these uh, inside our bed here. We put uh, mushroom compost because guys, if you notice, we've got mushrooms growing inside here. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's from a mushroom compost from Metkins Abbey here in South Carolina that we put in the with the soil. With the soil, and this is our own. What we started off with, we had some. Uh, limbs that had fallen out the tree and we were picking them up the limbs but we were breaking the small limbs up and we brought them in here after we put the boards up here and we just broke them up and put them all down here to decompose after we put some soil in there and we got some mulch from somebody had cut a tree and they ground up the root and they just left everything right there so we went and shoveled about a half a trailer load of that mulch got it for free brought it over here and shoveled it in on top of that, uh, uh, that, those limbs we had in here. And once we got that done, then we put some dirt. We had some uh, topsoil. And we come over and put the topsoil on top of that and mixed it all in with the mulch and those limbs and just got it going good. And then we, uh, we fertilized it. We put uh, uh, the mushroom compost in with all that soil. So this is, if I, if I put anything else other than these plants in here, whatever we put in here should grow. 
It really should because it's got a nutrient base of 1,000. He's got his nutrient base on 1,000. You really do have your nutrient base. It means it's it should be, it's like superpowers, honey. You got a lot of stuff. Yeah, it should be like soil. superpower. Yeah. Even though soil really looks no more than like, like mulch, but it's, um, it's enriched. It's, it's, it's enriched. I mean, we got a big old radish coming up down there on the end. It, we just threw a little extra radishes we had. We did. And they just popped up and they got pretty big. I don't know how, might be big enough to pull right now. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll come down there and pull it out. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, and you know, we've done a few things like that, and just whatever we got, we just make it happen. Well, guys, I'm gonna walk people. you outside while my honey's continuing doing this, and I'm gonna let you see what our winter garden looks like. And it's raining, so I think it stopped. But look, this is the winter garden, and it looks amazing. Those are the radishes he's talking about, they're all coming up really beautiful. And we've got collars and broccoli and cabbage. And of course the okra. The okra is still doing some amazing stuff. We put some onions down here. And this is okra. Look how big that okra is. Look at this one, guys. That is huge. So yeah. The okra's getting, we're letting the big ones stay on because we're going to seed those for our next year's seeding. If you can see that, that's, it's huge. Right there. Look how big that is. Look at this one. And it's still flowering, so we're still getting okra on it. It's still coming up. Anyway, Tom and I are very excited about what our winter garden is going to look like. We've got some pumpkins that we <clears throat> got right there. And if you remember the earlier videos, there was Amy and my grandson, Rezzy. They were putting in some, uh, we got their seeds right here that they're coming up now. They, Amy came by and brought me some of her seeds when she carved her jack o lantern in class at Hanahan Elementary and I seeded them and now the seeds are coming out. So Amy, those are yours. Such a wonderful kid. And our bell peppers are still doing it. And I bought, Tom had a birthday lately and I bought him two apple trees. And those are his apple trees we're gonna plant. But look at those bell peppers. They're still looking crazy, still seeding. I mean, still blossoming. It is November. Middle part. It's almost Thanksgiving. And we're still getting blossoms on our bell peppers. Anyway. Uh, Tom and I just wanted to show you what we were doing. This is our strawberries. And they're looking really good. They're vining out everywhere. So honey, I showed them what you did outside. Is there anything else you think that they should know about what you're doing as far as in your planting, planting? You know, just make sure you water it when you get done. When you get put them in, make sure you water it. And, uh, How much love did you give these plants? Yeah, I talk to every one of them when I put them in. <laughs> I really do. I tell them how beautiful they are and uh, tell them to be sure and produce a lot of tomatoes for us. Yeah, Tom is very... I do that very... with the uh, cantaloupes. I do that with the uh, cucumbers. All of them. All right. Well, guys, this is what we do, Tamilia Farms. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, honey. Tell them to subscribe. Y'all, please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and uh, I guess that helps us out somehow. Well, uh, it gives us knowledge. Okay. People like knowledge, honey. Well, the more viewers, I guess, the better. So, yes. Go for it. All right, darling. Again, thanks, guys. Bye.